going back since right after the Mexican Revolution, um, murals have been used to tell the story of the people, but not a story that the, that the conquerors want to tell, but a story that the people want to tell, the true story of Mexico or the true story of Pilsen. Pilsen Public Art Tours was founded by local art educators to help document the neighborhood's rich collection of murals. I use the murals like a pop-up book. We're literally characters inside this book and the murals are illustrations. Uh, I'm just a text. This mural is um, inspired by a story called Gulliver's Travels. Pensando en que este Gulliver es un Gulliver Latino que cruzó la frontera. De hecho, in the story original, he is tied with lazos, but in this case, he is tied with the hunger of the poor. One of the newest murals in the area faces El Paseo Community Garden, which will soon mark the start of a walking trail from Pilsen to Little Village. The city would like to see a lot of public art on the trail, so that's the importance of our piece here is kind of to create the first mural, the first public art, and what it should look like. New murals constantly pop up in Pilsen, but gentrification and development in the neighborhood has meant the removal of some iconic public art. A developer came in and changed the building, renovated the whole inside, the murals were gone. And the outside were the ones that he painted over, which caused all the controversy. And those were murals I did with kids, they weren't just my work. And so the community really felt a loss and protested and he asked me if I could redo them. And I said, sure, you know, if you got the money and I have the time, you know, I'll make the time. Queremos protegerlo, que no tumbe los morales, que no tumbe las casas. Queremos conservar el... El, 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 uh, character de Pilsen. Sitting in the heart of the neighborhood, the National Museum of Mexican Art adds to the creativity and color that defines Pilsen. Public art is an important part of Chicago, an important part of Pilsen, an important part of who we are as a community. And even when the neighbor continues changing, this is still the soul of our community. It always has been. We're not going to go anywhere. The murals have helped me search for my own identity, and I just want to be able to educate the public on their story and on what the murals have to say. We're still here. You know, through the gentrification and everything, you know, we're still here. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.